Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today uh, I've got a crankshaft that came into the shop and uh, customers tell me that there's a vibration and that the crankshaft may have been dropped. So we're gonna take a look at it and see what we can figure out. Uh, let me get you overhead and we'll look at it a little bit. Okay, let's take a peek at it. Well, I see one thing. The end of it's pretty pretty chewed up there. I'm not sure what's caused all that. I'm gonna have trouble putting that between centers on, on the lathe. Um, I'm thinking that it might have had the wrong puller used on it once in its life. Cause you can see, you can see that the end of it here is kind of flared out like there's been a lot of pressure put on the on this uh, portion out here instead of the uh, the dimple in the middle where the puller is supposed to go either that or it was just real tight we can still check it out but that makes it a lot easier when all our uh, our dimples are in good shape. That's how the crankshaft's made. These, you basically have these big billets of steel and they turn them down, put your, your ceiling surface, your gear surface, your threads, all that into it, all in one operation. And the same on this end. So you've got two two basic operations and then you put it together with the with the rod and everything. But that is one thing I see. I'm going to have to get the bearing off of here in order to check the uh, the run out between both sides. But let's just go over and put it in the lathe. Uh, we'll chuck it up on this side and just see if there's anything going on. I'll see you over there. Okay, got it chucked up here and we will, first of all, we'll just check the bearing surface. You know, this isn't gonna tell us a lot uh, until we're checking both of them at the same time, but it will give us some idea what's, what's happening. Okay. Okay, I'm not seeing not seeing anything dramatic right there. That that's that's a good good measurement. Let's get a little further out here. Same thing, looks good. See if I can get a little bit right here between the keyway and, well, still everything's okay. Let me get a different foot for this uh, dial indicator. Okay, I got a little wider foot on there. I just want to check the threads. Yeah, well, everything's looking good there. Hmm. Okay. Let me dig out some uh, specifications real quick. 
Okay, let's check the shake here real quick. Uh, that is this movement here. I'm all the way over to the left. Now over way to the right. And we got about 40. Looks like about 45 thousandths. We can't exceed uh, one or point one one eight or three millimeters. So we're good. We're good on that. Now the one thing that I uh, probably cannot check for sure is to whether there's the damage to the rod. You know, as far as it being bent. Uh, I'm not seeing anything here. When I push it to the to this side, this gap between here and the rod is a little bit narrower than when I go the other way. But that's not an issue that I know of. Yeah, I've got the bearing separator on it. I'll take it over to the to the press and we'll see if it'll pop it off. Okay, I've got a setup here in the press and I'll just kind of get you over here so you can see underneath here. I've got clearance between the uh, the crankshaft and these um, my 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 uh, <laughs> my press plates. That's what I was looking for. And I've got the rod out here, out of harm's way. And I'm gonna when I start pushing, I'm gonna reach down here and grab it. And as always, if you're pushing against something like this, you want to have a piece of aluminum. Let me go ahead and bring her down. Okay, I'm going to reach down here. Let's pull that bearing off. Easy peasy. Okay, back up to the bench. Okay guys, I've got it set up here between uh, a couple of uh, blocks and I've got both my gauges set up and I spin this and I'm way out here on the threads on both ends. So if there's anything at all, it should be there. And I'm not seeing no more than a thousandths on either side at any time. I'm actually seeing a thousandths here and a thousandths here at the same spot. So that would indicate that it is a little bit like this but it's within specs. Uh, it's, you know, the book is telling me three thousandths. Actually, I think it's closer to three and a half. And we're, we are within those specs. You know, when you're, it's been my experience that if you're this close and you try to get it better, you're gonna make it worse. So I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. It's, uh, it's kind of odd because it's not at the pin. It's in between the pin. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, uh, the pin is right here. Get my fat finger out of the way. Right back here. So 
usually in that case, it's, it's, uh, it's either there or here, and you have to pinch the crank together or spread it apart. And this here is actually, oh, I don't know, must be, well, it is. It's, uh, let's see if I can get you around here. See, the pin is right here. So it's actually about uh, at 90 degrees from the pin almost is where, is where these are both showing a thousandths on both sides. She's good. The only thing I really can't check here is uh, whether the rod is straight. Um, but I'm not seeing any, any uh, anything terrible. You know, you would see something if it was in pretty bad shape. Okay. She good. Okay guys, there you have it. Uh, nothing wrong with that crankshaft. That's not the source of the problem. Uh, the only thing I can't check really is the, to see if the rod is, is bent or something, but I don't, you know, I, I don't see anything. The only way to do that would be to take it apart unless it's just obvious. You know, I'm, I'm not seeing an impact area on the rod or anything where it, uh, where it struck the ground or uh, struck something else. And uh, the only thing that I saw was it's just off to one side a little bit. And that's not an issue because it, when you press those together, it may just be pressed up, up on the pin a little bit further that one so on, that, on that one side, excuse me. Uh, the run out according to Suzuki on this, is 0 .00394. Is, that's the limit. So that's almost four thousandths. And I'm seeing one on, on either side. And if you put the two together, you got two. So that's, that's better than most of them that I take apart. And a lot of times I don't get them put back together that close because I just feel that if you get that close, you better leave it alone because you're just going to make it worse. So nothing wrong there. That crank is fine. It'll run for many, many years yet. So hey, thanks for going along on the ride, and we'll see you next video.